Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is our regular weekly rundown of updates and cool features that's been happening with Blender. We're going to start off with the very first one that is the developers meeting that took place on the 29th of June 2020. So within the time this conversation actually started, within the time the meeting started, there was a talk about the Blender 2.83.1 LTS that was released with 33 box fixes. And we already talked about this last week. And at the same time, if you're using Steam, and snap builds are now available so you can actually go ahead and get it and Microsoft store is still processing there so you have to chill if you're working with blender directly from the Microsoft store also Lampier project is now line art so this has been refactored for the new naming at the same time the grease pencil add-on is actually being worked on right now by Samuel Breno and also with all of this said blender 2.83 lts also have a couple of conversation about it so you guys can check this one out we also saw um the blender 2.9 and the last time where we talked about it we also talked about the idea that there was going to be some sort of bug fixing and right now the lie is actually proposing for them to have a two week long bug sprint as part of the regular cycle of the beacon 2 although after this conversation there is actually no you know original or best way or agreed consensus of how this will be handled a clear proposal will be posted posted on the bf commuters for discussion and this is actually going to be set for later we've also seen and we are constantly talking about the google summer of code which is you know ongoing and with all of this said there are new set of features which i know a lot of you guys are actually here for so we're going to start off with the very first one which is the sculpt and paint so we've already talked about sculpt and paints you know a lot of times we won't talk about the updates but there are still more updates so let's actually dive directly into blender and take a look at the cool new actually i think it's two new updates which i guess you guys have no idea about oh by the way if you're taking a look at your blender 2.9 if you actually got the build from today which is the 3rd of july 2020 you would notice that this has been fixed so you know i already complained about this before that it wasn't fixed but now they fixed it and the cone actually looks better all right so let's take a look at some of the sculpting updates that is now here so if we have susan the monkey and hold control and four on the keyboard and simply apply this whoa we can go over to the sculpting tool right now and you would notice right here we have a brand new extremely brand new icon known as mask by color and by now i guess everyone be like yeah we see it coming last time where we talked about blender 2.9 sculpt update and we compared it with zbrush we talked about the masking feature and i guess the guys from blender foundation actually saw that and you know they kind of liked it so let's talk about some updates right here we already said that you can do your painting so right now on the pen so you can see that very cool flawless cool and we already said that you can also do things like this just in case you have no idea how that works you need to make sure that this is switched from material to vetus and while we're talking about some of the things that you can do we also made mention of the updates that is also regarding to rendering you can now flawlessly without actually refreshing you can now switch over to where you have as the color filter right here and you can easily feel and change the hue without flickering so this is also a new uh, feature right now so you can now simply use the uh, hue and you know the last time we said when you change the hue you have to you know flicker you have to jiggle this but now this is flawless you can actually do this and i'm very happy about this one lovely i love this next thing you can do is to fill this bad boy so if you come through and maybe go all the way here you can simply fill this bad boy you, all right so with this here if you also go to this new tool that we have here you can notice that it's called mask by color so what does this mean this means that you can now mask by giving color i don't know what else you guys want me to say I guess this is actually beating ZBrush by a good number right now. I mean, we already talked about how you can do this in ZBrush. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to see that. And I can also mask by this color. And you can invert this mask if you want to. You can also play with the threshold if you want to. And I don't know what else you guys really want, but this makes sense. So if I simply, you know, get this and right now this doesn't seem to do so much, I can go over to where we have as this 
and let's switch this over to the hue and let's play with the hue so i can play with the hue and you notice it doesn't affect that so i guess there are a couple of fixes that needs to be done for here but with this said let us dive over to something else so the next thing which we're looking at is the next update so within this part we already talked about the vetus color painting and the update that has to do with it there's also a talk about the idea to remove the threaded sculpts option so it is always enabled by default now next thing is cycles so last time we talked about cycles I, I i did get a couple of people come over to the comment section and it's like you never talked about cycles but we did so i would actually go back and share this thing one more time with you guys all right so what we did last time where we talked about cycles let's simply clear this mask and go right here if you go right over to this part and switch these to cycles that right now you have three different denoises all right if we move this down and we simply get a plane and drop this right there cool what we can do is you would notice we have this site called viewport thingy this new one works with the cpu so if i simply go over here and turn this on the optics by default this is the one that works with rtx card and these other one is uh, for the implementation of some very cool maxwell card so if you're having like a 1060 all the way up you can actually use that so this by default is for gpu this new one is the open image denoiser now if you can't remember if you have no idea what the open image denoiser is it is the very first denoiser that was implemented in the compositor so we already talked about how that looks i guess while we were talking about blender 2.83 and the cool features that comes with it I guess Blender 2.83 or Blender 2.82. We talked about the open the noise, the open image the noise, which you can work with within the compositor. And right now you have this on the viewport. So this is your CPU denoising this thing with the speed of light. All right. So you can choose to play with how much samples you want. So if I simply dial this all the way to four, let's uh, go ahead. You see it samples this one, two, three four and you get that if you push this all the way to two one two it samples it and gives you that and if you're wondering where is this uh texture where's the texture that we have here where the hell is it all right why did it disappear we already talked about this as well so you can simply get the texture working by changing this to your shader let's select this object and add a brand new thing here and you can see we're doing all of these things as cycle is rendering let's switch to mouse right now and i said the best way for you guys to get this up and running is come over here and type the word vertex and once you dial the word vertex color drop this right here and select the word color and link this over here you will be able to have this directly in your viewport so it's eliminating several things for you the idea of creating uvs before you can texture or before you can color paint you know your model this is actually getting rid of it and with a cpu the noise directly on the viewport you have a huge huge time so for your rendering you can either choose to use the nlm which is the non-local means the noiser, which is a native one that exists with cycles or you can simply use optics so totally dependent on you and what you want to do this will fly okay so with all of these juicy things talked about let's dive back into ev so motion blur is supported for ev we already talked about that i think we did an entire video about that there is also a fluid improvement if you're working with open vdb and also some very notable improvements is within the user interface so the user interface now has some very cool improvements that you can now see at the same time there is also some very cool improvements that you would see as a miscellaneous and this has to do with the grease pencil the preference which we've already looked at before and at the same time performance for the animation also looks pretty better and so that is basically about these are the updates that are now available for blender 2.83 and these are some very cool stuff one more update which i have not been able to try but i think it's best to tell you guys is right now pablo is working on something which is extremely useful it's known as the fake topology connection for meshes and this works with the pose brush so if you're working with a pose brush and you want to create some sort of fake topology connection this makes sense the pose brush has actually come a long way from having ik to having fk and now having a fake topology tool 
this will definitely help anyone who wants to post their stuff directly within the sculpt room and get some cool stuff happening so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you of course can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace